Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today we're going to be talking about protection. And what type of protection? Well, we're going to be talking about knee protection. And why would you need protection? Well, I guess we all want to protect these pretty faces, right? Wait, maybe my face is not that pretty. There was a lot of people complaining about my, my beard, so let me do something about it. Ta-da! And that's it. It seems like I got a clean face now, so now I don't really want to fall and break my face, right? <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about knee pads and the knee pads that I'm going to talk about it's actually a knee sleeve and it's the Enui shock sleeve. This is the shock sleeve, this is the shock sleeve pro. The main difference between the shock sleeve and the shock sleeve pro is that the shock sleeve pro has a layer of Kevlar on top which it's supposed to be way stronger if you're going to use it specially on shorts and I think the Kevlar is also going to be a little bit slippery so if you skate in a skate park it might be better than this one which seems like it's a little bit grippier but this thing seems so slim how are these things going to work? So Enui is using a foam that they call My Feet SPC we know that Enui is the protective brand from Powerslide and usually power slide when it comes to foams they work with my feet which also produces some liners in this product they chose to use some SPC foam and what is that well imagine something that it's a, it's soft but when there's a lot of impact it protects this one here I don't know if you can see it but if I press on it you'll see that it leaves a mark somehow but if I hit it hard oh it feels like plastic. It's the same here. I can press on it. So I can really press on these. It leaves a little thing here, but then it recovers. It's, it's some type of memory foam. But then when I hit it hard, it's gonna hurt. It's not the softest foam like you used to have on other types of knee pads, but on the inside, let me just, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but on the inside, it seems like some neoprene, you know the material that it's used for the wetsuits? Okay, so there's a layer of, of neoprene with the exact same shape as the SPC foam on the outside. If you know anything about protections, you know that usually close to your skin, close to, to your knee, close to your elbow or whatever, you want the softest foams and then the closest to the ground you want the hardest foams like if you think of a regular knee pad you'll see that there's like soft foam and then the 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 thing that might be in contact with the ground when you fall it's actually hard plastic on these ones well it's not plastic it's a foam like we said then when there's impact then it reacts super fast and it acts like plastic somehow but it protects you a lot in fact, just check this video that Powerslide posted through their YouTube channel on their speaking specs. It's a material that will never break down, so always keeps its characteristics. And like you see here, this is like a metal ball falling it, so it will transfer like all the impacts e equally and will have no rebound. And it's also impressive because under it is here a glass, so it's not breaking, even if it's not 100% flat. So really the material it's great, it's very expensive. See, it seems like it's going to, if it protects a, a glass, a piece of glass from a, a metal bowl, imagine, I guess it would protect your knees, right? Then, what's the main differences between these and this one? Well, like I said before, this one on over the SPC foam, it has a, all, like a layer of Kevlar. So, if I try to push it here in this table, this one is a little bit grippy. Of course, if it comes fast, still, it's still a little bit grippy. But this one, it slides. I know that a lot of us are going to be using these inside the pants or whatever. But if you're going to be using it on shorts, this might be too grippy. I'm just scared that 
On these ones, if you hit it, it might twist. These ones seem like if you hit the ground, if you hit like a ramp or whatever, especially if it's going to be a wooden ramp or maybe even a cement ramp, if it's smooth, this is going to slide. And being Kevlar, it's supposed to, to last a long time, right? Okay, something else which is different is the material on the outside. This seems like to be a, some thick lycra and these ones, seem to be a different material. I don't really know how to explain. Imagine like if these would be the kind of lycra pants or those tights that people use for running and this feels more like a, a winter pant or like a ski pant without all the lycra. It's hard to explain the material. It's just different. It's just different. Then both of these knee pads on top, they have all around a piece of silicone which which is going to to keep the knee pad in the right position they also have a little bit of branding and by now you must be thinking wait but that's exactly like the g forms well super similar but not exactly the same let me show you something this is the g form once you grab this there's two main differences one the surface of the material, of the protective material, it's smaller, it's just around your knee, it's, it's actually smaller, I'll show you right here. So if you look at it, this cut goes close to the knee and this one it's a lot wider. Here, it has an extra piece of protection and especially on the outside of my knee, I think this would be actually beneficial compared to these ones. Then the material on the G-forms are actually a lot softer. I know if you hit it fast, they still react like plastic, but they are a lot softer, which means in my, I think it, they're gonna be a lot grippier. So if I was just telling you that I would like these ones more because of the material on top being a little bit more slippery, if you're gonna fall, these ones I think they're gonna grip a little bit more. Then other big difference about these is also comparing the non-pro version of the Anui with the G-form. These ones, the G-forms, the Lycra doesn't seem to be as thick as this. So I would say that the Anui one, it's a bit stronger and a little bit tighter, if that makes sense. Also, the G-form also has the silicone on top. The silicone doesn't seem the same, huh? The silicone seems to be like a more flat, more built in the material on the G4 and on the Anui it seems like the silicone sticks out a little bit. Hard to explain here. Price wise, I guess the G4 costs around 70 euros. The Anui shock sleeve will cost you around 60 euros. And the Kevlar version, the Pro version, will cost you around 90 euros. This is going to be the knee pads that I'm going to use from now on. Whenever I use knee pads, I don't use knee pads every single time. But like I told you, if I want to protect this face, <laughs> not really. I know that this is going to be to protect my knees. But if I'm going to protect my knees, I'll be using something like this. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, if you do enjoy my new <laughs> clean face, let me know in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And then right on the side of that subscribe button, there's the little bell. Press on that bell and you will get notifications every time I upload one of these videos. Also, if you speak Portuguese, you should know that I just started a new Portuguese YouTube channel. It's called Aim Patins. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And the main reason why I started that channel is that these, I want it to be 100% English. Like tutorials, podcasts, product reviews, you know, the regular content. The other one, I want it to be kind of like in the same lines, but in Portuguese, because there's a lot of people in Brazil, there's a lot of people in Portugal, Angola, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau, and so on, that don't speak English. So that's the main reason why I started a new channel, and I'll be uploading different content on both of these channels. So, with that being said, there's nothing else to say, other than do not forget why we all started skating, and that is 
because it's fun. Cheers guys and see you soon. Thank <clears throat> you.